Hey, good morning everybody. Today is Friday, October 3rd, 2008, and I absolutely have to report, um, I think my biggest milestone to date, and isn't that the way it usually goes? As we get closer to goal, our milestones get bigger and bigger. Um, anyway, I wanted to share that my milestone today was, is, <laughs> I have lost a hundred pounds. My highest weight was 280 in January, and this morning I weighed in at 180. That is amazing. <laughs> I can't even begin to tell you how that makes me feel. It really, truly is mind blowing. Um, I lost 15 pounds from January to April um, pre-op and so since my surgery five and a half months ago I have lost 85 pounds so my total excess weight is 125 pounds I want to get from 280 to 155 so I've lost a hundred of those 125 pounds that is an 80 percent excess weight loss um, by gastric bypass row and Y standards I am a surgery success because you are expected to lose 50 to 80 percent of your excess weight within 18 months of having gastric bypass surgery I've done 80 percent in five and a half months um, I will say this much again we all have our own personal journeys my personal journey is that the gastric bypass surgery to me was not elective. I either was going to have that surgery to save my life or I would be dead by 50. And my mother passed at 50. I, I don't even think I would have made it to 50. It was do or die. My emotional food addiction and my mental prison that I had myself locked in was going to kill me undoubtedly so the first four plus months out of surgery uh, was my honeymoon period I lost a, an incredible amount of weight I managed to get down to 195 and just got stuck there for a month and the month after that I barely budged so I pretty much wrote the surgery off thanked it very much for saving my life and putting me in a physical position to do the rest of the work. So at 195, I stopped relying on the surgery. I knew that I could eat whatever I want. I don't dump. I can eat sugar, I can eat fat, I can eat anything I want. I choose to eat healthy. I have empowered myself to not give in to my emotional food addictions. I'm not physically addicted. I was emotionally addicted. And therapy has definitely helped me break that cycle of why I would turn to food. All the denial I was in, all the skeletons that needed to be buried, it's done. Now I'm in maintenance phase on the emotional side of things. On the physical side of things, I still have 25 pounds to lose. My goal is to lose it by the end of the year. So I have about three months to lose 25 pounds. What, what is that average? Eight pounds a month. Um, it's possible, but I'm not going to be in the slightest bit upset if that doesn't happen. I could live the rest of my life right here where I'm at and be absolutely ecstatically happy. I am in large tops. I am in eights and tens on the bottom. Um, not being egotistical, I always have to throw that disclaimer in there, but to you guys I can say this because you're all so supportive and I think you all know me well enough by now to know that I am not an egotistical person, but I have legs that kill. I mean, I am so blessed in that regard. I am blessed that my body has responded the way it has. It has done everything I've asked it to do. Even as abusive as I was to myself, my body is giving me back 110%. 
and I am just so grateful and I'm so thankful and I, I'm just I'm blown away if, if I could have written out a wish list of how I wanted my post-op experience to go based on my research and reasonable expectations if I had done a wish list it could never have even come close to the results I've gotten I, I just truly honestly I am blessed and I just am so humble. I, I am humbled by this whole experience. And it makes me love my body. That because it's been so good to me. You know, I, yeah, I can stand there in the mirror and I can pinch a huge roll of fat. You know, my love handles and back fat and, and critique the fact that my belly isn't perfectly flat. Or I could say, you know what? I don't have saggy skin. You know what? My arms look great. My legs are banging. You know what I'm saying? It's all about perception. I can either be a negative Nelly and abuse myself mentally, or I can just smile and thank myself for doing such a good job and celebrating my accomplishments. These last 15 pounds that I've lost are all mine. I actually give myself the credit for these 15 pounds. Surgery got me to 195. I've gotten me to 180. I will get myself to my first goal of 155. I, I don't know what I'm going to look like at that weight because I've never been that weight. You know, I'm in eight tens bottoms now, large tops. I don't know what another 25 off of me is going to look like. I really don't. So <clears throat> I don't know if that's my ultimate goal. It is just a number on the scale. It really is about how you feel and how you look. And I, I want to say that I want to ultimately get to 140 just because I think it would be kind of cool to say I've lost half my weight. I started at 280 pounds and now I'm 140. But I'm not going to go for 140 just because it's a number on the scale. It really just depends on what I end up looking like. You know, I officially measured in at my surgeon's office at 5 foot 6. I, I was considered a lightweight and... Um, it was easier to go with the five foot six to have the higher BMI than to go for five foot five foot seven. I actually was just measured and I am five six and three quarters, um, which just makes me feel that much better because if I were to put down five seven, which I'm closer to than five six, um, my BMI is twenty eight point one. If I leave it at five six, my BMI is twenty nine point one. Um, I don't really care. I, I Honestly, I don't really care. I think I'm looking pretty good and I'm pretty happy. And, uh, oh, last night I went to a USF Bulls college football game and um, I didn't have to worry about the walk and my back hurting and my knees hurting and sweating. I didn't have to worry about fitting through the turnstile. I didn't have to worry about fitting in the stadium seat. I could actually sit down and cross my legs. So I'm just so happy <laughs> with where I'm at. I, I honestly, I could not ask for anything more. And this has just, I mean, it's been a roller coaster. Don't get me wrong. I don't mean to say that, you know, August was a very deep, dark month for me, but like I said, I'm happy where I'm at. If I didn't lose another pound, I would be so fine with that. So any pound from here on out I lose, it's all just bonus. And that is what is making this experience so much fun for me. Because I'm not obsessing and I'm not <clears throat> being crazy about it. I'm, I'm just enjoying this ride. And I'm enjoying making good, healthy food choices. And I'm thoroughly enjoying the exercise. So... That's my update, folks, and I help, hope everyone else is doing well, and I will catch you all on the flip side.